The idea of a Christmas movie is something that we all should be pretty familiar with. You have things like Jingle All The Way, The Snowman, Jack Frost, uh, Die Hard even. They're all Christmas movies and you watch them at Christmas time. The idea of a Christmas game, it's something kind of unexpected. It's new, it's different. So Dead Rising 4 is a Christmas game. It's set at Christmas, meaning that to play at any other time of the year, well, yes, it's possible. It's the same with Christmas movies. It's just not really the same, is it? So it's completely fitting that with Christmas being, well, Christmas Eve is two weeks away today, we might as well be playing a bit of Dead Rising 4. I am currently being chased by one angry zombie, and I decided that it would be a great idea to start this video off fresh, so I got rid of all of my weapons, so I'm not going to be able to take that guy on until we find something. Uh-oh. Ah-ha-ha! Uh -huh. Pirate's Cove. This looks like the perfect place. We can, uh... Find ourselves a nice pirate axe or something like that. There is a lot of shit going on down there. I should maybe help them out. No, those guys are evil, aren't they? Yeah, we'll just let those guys get eaten by zombies. Not my problem. All right, here we go. Onto the pirate ship. Boom. Right, we need to find ourselves a weapon nice and quick once we get up. There we go. So, um, there doesn't seem to be much. This isn't going well. Ah, a mace. The worst of the possible weapons I could have just found, but it's going to do for now. Ah, there's that pirate axe. I'm not even sure the pirate axe is very good, to be fair. A scimitar. These are all terrible weapons. Oh, I'm going to die so quickly. Into the bowels of the ship. Maybe we'll find something a bit better. Oh, yeah. How about some nice new threads? That's quite cool. We can look a bit like Marcus Phoenix. Should we go for the eye patch? No, I'm not really into the eye patch. I kind of like this bandana. Ooh. Ooh, we can be a surfer dude. No. No, we're going Marcus Phoenix. That's the plan. Ooh, can we have a mustache to go along with it? We can. I don't remember if Marcus had a... Mustache. Maybe he did. Oh, a bonbon. Okay, that's a, that's a bit better than what we had. That will deal with quite a few of them at once, but we still haven't got really anything that will help us get through a massive crowd, so that's going to be the biggest problem we're facing right now. Oh, and just like that, I solved the problem. Battle axe. Right, here we go. Oh, I've got such a good idea. I'm so glad I just found this. Yeah, so um, I kind of tried to make him look a bit more like Marcus, but uh, he's just kind of... He looks like a really bad cosplay. That's fine, no. Let's go kill some zombies. Ah, there's definitely plenty of zombies here to get killing. We're just gonna try and mow our way through these. Hopefully, not die in the process. Yeah, yeah, like that. That could have gone very badly. Oh, special move. Come on. Ooh. That's, uh, that's pretty brutal. I'm gonna be here for so long if I just keep cutting them all up. Right, we're gonna get out of here and maybe... Maybe we'll find something a little more fun to play with than this axe. Ah, no, get off. Get off, bastard. Goodbye, Pirate Cove. Is that what you're called? No, you're Caribbean Cove. We're going through to whatever this part of the mall is. I don't have a clue really how this all joins together, despite actually having completed the game. I'm a level 85 right now, so I shouldn't really be having any trouble with all of these zombies, apart from the pure fact that I was just genius and threw all my weapons away. Oh, I'll tell you what, we'll have this. It sounds like there's someone in trouble around here. Where is this guy? Or is it, um... Oh no, it's these guys. I'm going to actually try and get their guns. That sounds like a really good plan. Oh, in fact, I won't kill all the zombies, which I've just half done already. Because they can keep them distracted while I come around the back and chop them in half. Sorry, lads. No, no, no. Don't, don't pay attention to me. I'm not the one you want. Oh yeah, we have their guns now. We should be able to deal with quite a lot more zombies. The guns in this, they feel really, really good. Like I have to say, compared to Dead Rising 3, which I was playing the other day for the Easter eggs video... The guns in this, they just feel powerful. They're fun to shoot. It's really cool. Ah, feels so good. Hello, Santa Claus. How are you doing? Oh, God. Zombie behind me. Jesus, where did you come from? Um, made me jump a little bit. Oh, the cash register. Can I make something with that? Ah, oh, yes. We can make an electric axe. That is going to make our life so much easier. I think while we're here, we might be able to build something else. So if we get the tripod, can we combine it with that? Yes, we can. The tripod zapper. I haven't really played with this much, but... uh. It's kind of cool, I think. We'll find a group of zombies before we try it out. Oh, we leveled up. Beautiful. We should actually spend that skill point. So, the skill system is kind of pretty standard. You can upgrade how much health you have, how much damage you do with certain weapons. Everything's kind of individual. So, like, on this one, you can see that you have pistols, shotguns, and machine guns all individual. So, you need to get quite a lot of points if you want to get everything. I have got mostly everything. You can see the ones that I put the most into, which are, like, brawling and survival and definitely fortitude. So, uh, yeah, the, the upgrade system's not the most interesting in the world, but it's useful. In fact, we can actually finish off the brawling tree. We can get the last one, and there is our first one finished. Beautiful. I found myself a segue, and somehow managed to go back on myself. We're back at Caribbean Cove. That's not right. Let's go back. Ow, stop shooting me. 
I'm minding my own business. Leave me alone. Miami Boardwalk. This is the next section of the mall. Um, oh, this is the one with the racetrack. I was trying to remember what it was then. Yeah, this is a bit of a bit of a weird section actually. Oh god, Mason, Mason, I'm coming for you. We're gonna try and save Mason. This is gonna either go really well or, as jumping off of that just proved, probably really, really badly. And oh no, why can't I? I'm stuck, Mason. Mason, I need help. Mason, I'm stuck. Please, Mason, don't die. I need you. Oh no, there's a zombie coming. No, mate, 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 no, no. Oh god, no. Someone please help. Oh god. Come on, are you gonna let me out? Oh, okay, I phased through the window. Oh, that's one way to do it, I guess. There's not even a window there. What was I stuck on? Oh, I'm so confused. Right then, Mason, I've got your back. Come on, let's do this. In fact, I think this might be the perfect time to try out our tripod. There we go. Right then, put it out there. Not exactly what I intended to do, but right, there we go. So that, I think, should start zapping people. There we go. So they'll deal with everyone around Mason pretty easily. Someone knocked it over already. How dare you? How bloody dare you? All right, last few guys to mop up. Take them out of the old electric axe. I think it's got to be my favorite weapon in it. Anyone else you're upset about, Mason? Those guys there. We'll just deal with them nice and quick. And these are the last two guys. Let's finish them off with a bit of lightning. I am for God of Thunder or something like that. Oh, for God's sake. Every time I try and clear everyone out, other people come. Guys, go away. And you. I said and you. No, no. No, seriously, and you. And you. There we go. Survivor was saved. Okay, Mason. Um, unfortunately, we are actually full at the minute. So, uh, yeah, full capacity. You're going to have to go and survive on your own. Sorry about that. My oh my, that's a very lovely dress. I think we, uh, yeah, I think that brings this little outfit together. Guys, seriously, leave me alone. I'm trying to go shopping. You're just bugging me all the time. I like my girlfriend. All right, now that we've got some peace and quiet, a lot of blood everywhere. Kind of ruined our dress. We might need to find something else to wear. Oh, I'd like to wear that. Unfortunately, I can't. Is that all I can wear in here? Anything in the changing room? Maybe? Probably not. There's probably a zombie in here or something. Oh, no. That's disappointing. Oh, you again. Go away. Ah, oh, he died pretty quickly. Ooh, I wonder if they've got any cool clothing for me. Ah, no, it just looks like an arcade. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. I'm hoping they'd have, like, some kind of arcade -y based clothing. Apparently not. Oh, that on the other hand. Yeah, I think I can get that. Ow, leave me alone. Jesus, how many times do I have to kill you guys? Oh, a neighborly outfit. Let's have that. That's pretty nice, isn't it? If only these guys would leave me alone to look at my outfit for five seconds without it being covered in blood. You ruined it already. I had it on for literally two seconds and now it's covered in blood. Right then, let's get out of here. In the middle here, we have two lovely cars and these are very clearly placed here for one purpose and that's to make the kilowatt. This thing's, uh, it's pretty crazy. Especially they give you it so early in the game. This is literally the first car that you get in the game. Well, the first combo car. And it's very, very powerful. And very, very fun. Ugh. There's so much death going on right now. Oh, hello. I just noticed you there. Heather. Hello, Heather. I'm here to save you. I have the kilowatt with me. So, uh, it should be pretty easy compared to last time. All right, let's just, let's just keep damaging everyone. Oh, one guy there. I think that should be the last guy that you... I bothered with. Is that everyone? Ah, I might have killed them myself. That's a very real possibility. Let's leave. Something kind of just therapeutic about driving like the vehicles around and just absolutely destroying hordes of zombies. <sighs> it's really, it's just kind of pleasant. I know a lot of people probably think it's just gory and gross, but something about blood and guts just spewing everywhere as you drive through a well, a group of people that were once alive, I guess. But look, watch them explode. It's so fun. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Something about it that I just love. Maybe it's just this game. Oh, we're into the next section now. Medieval Town. I wonder what the theme here is. Ah, Star Trek, I believe. Oh, you know what? If we're here, then we need the suitable attire. There should be a little shop around here. Ah, there it is. I don't know what it's called. The Medieval Town Museum. This should be the perfect place. Oh, it's right there for us. Right, let's get in this display case. Ah, oh, apparently there was no glass there. I thought there was. Oh, yes. That's a bit more my style. We should be able to pick up some nice weapons as well. We already have a battle axe, so we don't really want to double up on that. Anything else cool around here? Get a crossbow. Why not? In fact, you need to die. You guys, get out of my shop. I'm trying to shop here. Right, last one. Bugger off, buddy. There he goes. 
Oh, you know what? I've never actually played with a lance before. That might be pretty fun. Right, that'll do it. Let's see how the lance goes. Yeah, very, very lancey. Not doing as much damage as I'd hoped for, but... Oh well, maybe it'll be better if we can get a kill move off with it. I think I may have ruined the seriousness of my outfit slightly. Something about the, the reindeer head just kind of... I don't know, it makes it a bit of a joke. Well, we might as well double down on the joke. This is the best way to get around. Oh, I just found a big gun. Come here, lads. You're all, uh... Yeah, you're all gonna die pretty swiftly now. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's a guy in an exosuit over there. Ah, huh, maybe we should, uh... We should even things out. Okay, I'm sorry about this, guys. I'm gonna have to show you a secret. We are going to scale the tower in a very convoluted way. And just like magic, up here we can find our very own exosuit. Oh yes, we're going to have some fun with this. You can upgrade this in a number of ways. You can just pick up some weapons which are like exclusive to the exosuit. In fact, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to just jump off of the roof. And it's also on a time limit. So you can see in the bottom left that there's a counter counting down. Which is power, but it's just an annoyance basically. Oh my god, I've done it twice. Right, I'm not going that way again. Let's just jump down the way we came. And down into the crowds. This thing is massively powerful and it's massively fun to play around with. So we need to find ourselves some kind of weapon. Oh, the sword in the stone. That seems like the perfect thing for me. Can we pull it out? Of course we can. Oh, I expected it to just be a sword. Do you know what? As long as it can kill a zombie with no hassle whatsoever. Yeah, it seems to be able to. I have no problem with that. Oh, come here, buddy. I'm here to say hello. Oh, and you said goodbye. I'd rate that a... 8 out of 10 on the brutality scale. Let's uh, let's double check just how good that was. Yeah, yeah, it's a solid 8 out of 10. Oh, guys, are you really taking me on? You realise I can just destroy every single one of you with one button. There we go. They didn't last very long, did they? Where did that guy in the exosuit go? Maybe he died. That's a shame. I wanted to have a fight with him. I guess it doesn't really matter anyway, because this is about to die on me. Let's try and deal with these zombies before... It does that. Oh, no. God. Back to being a night reindeer thing. I don't know. I don't even know why we dress like this. Oh, come on, guys. Get out of my way. I'm trying to trying to get to the exit here. Oh, God. Um, yeah, I think I just found a guy with an exosuit. And a very big flamethrower. Okay, we might have to deal with this guy pretty sharpish. It's lucky that off camera, I just made the Holy Terror, which is probably one of my favorite guns. It basically just disintegrates people if I can shoot them with it. So it should make this guy... Pretty easy to kill. Yeah, he didn't last very long, did you? Sorry, buddy. You should, uh... Yeah, you're about to die. Sorry about that. Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ. I got two kills with that. That was brutal. Um, Why is there an RPG in the back of what appears to be a children's store? That, uh... It doesn't make much sense. Oh, no, sorry. It's a portrait studio. So it's a photography shop. Doesn't really explain why they had an RPG. Jesus Christ, somebody else needs saving. Faith. Maybe you should have run faster, Faith. That was a um, Mirror's Edge joke. Probably was a shit joke, but, you know. Anyway, let's just save Faith. Vaporize, 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 and vaporize. I'm out of here. Told you that'd be easy. Oh, now this is suitably Christmas. This is what I've been looking for. Oh, what was that? There was a combo weapon there. Oh my god, the Nut Blaster. Yes, this is exactly what I thought it was. I think this is my favorite combo weapon in the game. You get to wear a Nutcracker helmet, and it's a minigun. And just listen to it. Is that not just the best thing ever? Right, lads, you're all going to die in the most Christmas way possible inside some kind of, what do you call these? Like Santa's villagey workshop thing. Oh, did that run out already? No, how disappointing. Oh, that's the saddest thing. Why? Why? Oh, in fact, we actually still have one of these tripod things. I don't even know what they're called anymore. We'll put that there. The tripod zapper. So that should just deal with most of them for me. Guys, seriously, stop knocking it over. I'm going to have to kill some of you with a mace now. It's not a mace, is it? What is it? A lance. I'm going to kill you with a lance now. Do you know, guys? I don't want a lot for Christmas. 
but there is just one thing that I need, and that's for every one of these bloody zombies to bugger off, because I'm trying to do something here. Well, they're not the creepiest thing I've ever bloody seen, and you guys need to leave me alone. Every time I try to do something, you just come and bug me. All right then, guys, I think we've actually made it to the mall's exit. There's going to be a few guys here we're going to have to deal with. At the minute, they seem to be fighting their own problems, so actually, we might be able to just walk out. Oh, but of course, somebody out here needs our help. It's nobody capable of dealing with their own problems in this bloody mall. Right, let's just vaporize them all as quickly as possible. Should be pretty easy. And last one, and you, of course. Did that save you, Kelsey? Kelsey? Kelsey's a girl's name. His name is Luke, and he's more than your average gamer. No ordinary let's player. No bad Easter eggs much better. Da 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 da. His name is Luke, aka the Roy Gorilla. Even bigger than the giant Godzilla. Follow him in every game he goes. Da da da.